Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Serena. And I'm James. And we are Life After Union 2 Twin Flames in Union. So today we are sharing with you three of the key things that we did to manifest union. Watch this video. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited to be here today. We've got mm -hmm. some incredible stuff to talk about. Um, but today in the video, we are sharing three of the major things that we did in order to come together as a couple in union. Um, so the first one would be healing any blocks that we had to love. So essentially, these can be things like receiving wounds. And we I have a lot of videos on this kind of stuff. So if you want to dive deeper into what these blockages actually are, you can find those videos. Um, but anything like a receiving wound a wound to intimacy, communication wounds. <laughs> yep, that's always a big one. <laughs> Twin flames always, you guys have some sort of communication block because the relation, I was actually thinking about this this morning. Um, <laughs> and because the relationship is so like kind of psychic by nature, like there has to be some sort of block between the two or otherwise it would be too easy, right? So for us, we have a lot of like, your sense of humor is very different than <laughs> how I would communicate. And you communicate a lot through sense of yeah. humor, which is not super helpful for me because I'm highly sensitive. So I take a lot of things really literally. So we've had to do a lot of work around asking like, are you being serious right now? Or or, you know me having to try and not take things so personally like things like that um, but then you know different blocks like intimacy blocks you know like we also even in union went through a deep phase where like we don't like I didn't really want you to be that close to me I didn't really want yeah. you to touch me like this is like one of those things where if you aren't giving yourself the love that your partner is giving to you it's going to feel really overwhelming yeah. And so that's also like receiving wounds, you know, like feeling not worthy of receiving all the love that this person is willing to give to you. Or the converse of that is if you're not willing to receive, you might feel like your per partner is actually not giving to you what you want. But that's because you aren't actually even willing to receive it. So these are all blocks that need to be healed, especially if you've been in any kind of a infidelity situation with you, you dealt with that. I dealt with narcissism and codependency and like, you know, being the empath in the relationship. And so I had to do a lot of work around that. Um, so healing these wounds is incredibly important. And you have to obviously first find out what those wounds are for you. Because for everyone, it's going to be slightly different. Then, then the second block, balancing your masculine and feminine. So this is kind of what you brought up. So what did you experience in this space? Uh, I think for me, a big part about balancing the masculine and the feminine is a big part of that is communication. Because when it comes down to it, the biggest thing you can do with regards to your relationship, no matter how tough or easy things are getting, if you are able to communicate with your partner and talk through these things and not allow your feminine side to kind of shy away, your masculine side to be too overpowering necessarily, and be able to kind of balance that out and find a way where you can kind of come back to yourself in more of a neutral ground and not trying to think that you're always right. <laughs> Do you not understand? Um, and just being able to be like, okay, look, you might not see where I'm coming from. Let me not kind of lose my shit. Let me rather be like, okay, well, let me try word this in a different way or let me try show it to you in a different way or however you want to communicate. Communicating doesn't just have to be with words. It can be with body language. It can be with actions. It can be with multiple different things and just allowing yourself to find a little bit more internal to help you show the external to your partner and just working through that. And that's something that no matter how many years you've been through, you've got to continuously work on it. It's, it's not something that one day like, ah, we got to sort it and that's us done and we're never doing this again. It's, it, it's continuous. Yeah. Um, and knowing that it's continuous and knowing that this is something that people go through also can be very beneficial and very helpful to oneself as well, which I have found. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. No, I agree with you completely. Um, and then the third thing is taking practical actions towards your goals. And you guys, this doesn't necessarily just mean like, oh, I'm going to reach out to my twin flame today. This means I'm going to start creating the life of my dreams. I'm not going to wait any longer on anybody else. So like you moved from where you were living yeah. um, back here so that I could come here. 
you know, I had to break off my previous relationship. I started this YouTube channel after I met you. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't talking about Twin Flames originally, you guys. So it's not like you have to have it all figured out, but you need to start taking action steps towards the life that you want to live. And that's going to also help magnetize your person because what it is with the Twin Flame dynamic is like you... You are um, creating this version of yourself, right? That is in alignment with your twin and the version that they want to be. So if you're yeah. not living in accordance with that person that you want to be, there's going to be this dissonance and you're not going to end up becoming magnetic and attracting this person. So if there's a new hobby that you want to take up, go and try that new hobby. If you need to change your work, if you need to change where you're living, start making these changes. Don't wait on your twin to start making those changes because that's actually going to prolong the thing. Don't say like, oh, well, I'll, I'll look into my next career like when I'm after, after union I'll start looking into that like no start taking the action steps now yeah. because without actually fulfilling that within yourself you're never going to become you know strong enough within yourself to magnetize this other person right and so with all that being said do you have something else to say on on the taking action part because you took a lot of action yeah I think it, it's something you, you just have to see what you want to achieve out of your life and go for it and if you are want to achieve something and that doesn't line with the person who you want to be with and things don't work out for that, that's not necessarily a bad thing because if you're not being true to yourself and taking action to things that actually brings you that joy or that fulfillment or that, you know, yay moment, then are you really living the best life that you could be living for yourself, which is very important because no matter what, your partner is always going to want you to be doing the best thing for yourself. I mean, like with us, for instance, like, I love surfing. I don't always get the time to it, but when I do, we make the effort to do it so that I can still carry on doing things that I like to do. For you, you love spending time in the forest, then we go try to do hikes every now and again. But just trying to incorporate things, and it might not always line up. It might be that sometimes I go to the beach alone, or you might go for a walk alone. And I think a lot of people also get stuck in the fact that that's actually okay. Yeah. It's actually good. It's actually beneficial. It's actually you should do that every now and again. You must do your own things. Um, because if you try to do everything together, you guys are going to, you, you end up kind of biting each other's heels. So having that space apart and together and having your separate interests that can co-align and come together, that is a very important part. Um, and yeah, take take the steps. And if your partner doesn't like it, ask them, why, why don't you like this particular thing? Or What is it bringing yeah, up for you? What, what, yeah. what is it making... Why is it making you not want to go do this or not wanting me to go and do something? Why, why is that affecting you to such a degree? Because ultimately it shouldn't. It will, but it shouldn't to a degree where you kind of trying to stop your partner or yourself from doing things that actually bring you fulfillment. Yeah, and that, and that can happen for a number of reasons, you guys. I mean, that can be like literally something within you that your parents taught you and so you're feeling like okay this is coming up for me and I don't want them to go do this or I don't want them to take care of themselves in that way because I have this thing within me so when you communicate which is something you brought up earlier when you communicate it actually allows the space to work through those things together you know so you you have to be able to say okay this is what that's bringing up for me and to continue to work on it and to continue <laughs> to communicate yeah yeah it's ongoing. It is ongoing. And if you guys want to dive deeper into this, this is so exciting. We're so excited to share this with you. I have my online course, <laughs> which goes over these literal three topics. So how to magnetize your perfect person, how to get into union, um, is on pre-sale this week. So we're super excited. Um, so during this pre-sale, you guys, you get like literally a hundred dollars off the original price. So that's one third off. Um, and you can get entered to win a free personal session with me so we can chart your path to love so we can literally dive in do an evaluation figure out where your core wounds your core blocks are um, which is something also that this course will take you through but we can always dive deeper on that right um, and so this course is just filled with amazing stuff it is literally the path that I took in order to get to union and 
arguably the path you also took, but I yeah. created it. So that's why I'm taking, <laughs> that's why I'm taking the credit of it. So you guys, this also contains really powerful channeled activation meditations to help you dive deep into the subconscious. You're going to meet your inner child. You're going to heal some heart wounds. You're going to go back into the past, pull up early memories that are keeping you from achieving this love, from accessing this love and reprogram all of that. So it's such a transformational course. Um, obviously, if you're looking to manifest union, like what better of a thing to do than to get a course from somebody who has also done the same thing and then went back and like literally spewed everything that I did into like a digestible course. Um, and there's also, you know, there's downloads, there's takeaways. And in every single section for all the different blocks, I give you practical routines that you can literally start doing like today, you know, things like mantras and mirror work and how to implement these self love, self care routines in in order to become more magnetic and to amplify that feeling of love within yourself because the larger that is the more you're going to attract into your night life not even just love but the more love you have for yourself the more abundance you're going to have yep. the more prosperity the more success the more love the more joy like your life just blooms when you are that source of love within yourself so you have to start taking action on your dreams, on what you want to manifest. And if you've been looking for the opportunity to do that, this is your sign. This is the opportunity to literally <laughs> do that. So this price is only going to be available for five days. Um, so at the time that this is posted, maybe it's only two or three more days of this price. So literally get it today. And when you buy the course, your name will be entered to win a one-on-one -on -one session with me. And then you'll be notified via email. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below. But we are so excited to offer this to you. So excited um, to see you inside. And yeah, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments. And I'm happy to answer. And just so you know, the link to the course is down below. So just get it there. Um, I'll probably also link it up here if I'm able to and we will see you there thank you guys so very 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 much for the support <laughs> we truly appreciate it um, and we will see you guys in the next video big love bye bye